Okay, we are going to see how to solve this quadratic equation by the completing the square method. And the reason that we are not solving this quadratic equation by the quadratic formula is because the b value here is 14. And remember, the quadratic formula requires us to compute b squared minus 4ac instead of the square root and all that, right? You see? 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3, and then we still have to simplify the square root. Ah, uh, not a good idea. In fact, the completing square method is better because we already have a 1 in front of the x squared, and the coefficient of x is 14, which is an even number. So in this case, completing square will beat the quadratic formula, guaranteed. So how do we proceed though? First, we keep these two terms on one side. So x squared plus 14x, let's put a 3 to the other side, leave a space here, 3 to here becomes negative 3. Okay, now we are going to add a number here on both sides, and I call the number the magic number. And to figure that out, we will take half of the b value here, and again, we have to make sure that it's a 1 in front of the x squared in order to do this. It is, so proceed. Take half of 14, and we square that. That's a little formula for the magic number. Half of 14 is 7, and then we square that, we get 49. So we are going to add 49 on both sides. This number is so magical because we can actually make the left hand side factorable, guaranteed. You see, originally it was not factorable, but right now it's factorable. Better yet, this right here will always be a perfect square. I'll show you real quick though. If you factor it, you'll just get x times x, which is x squared, and 49 is just 7 times 7, and we see 7 times x is 7x, and this right here gives us another 7x. So this right here becomes x plus 7 squared. Yeah. And of course you can do that in your head if you are comfortable with the factoring. And now let's just continue the right hand side. This and that is positive 46. So we can continue because it's a positive number. Then we take the square root on both sides. Right? We get real solutions in this case. And don't forget the plus minus. Cancel this out. So we have x plus 7 equals this. We can put the 7 to the other side. So x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus square root of 46 cannot be simplified it this is only 2 times 23 that's the most we can do right so we leave it square root of 46 and this right here you see it completing the square yeah give it a try don't just hate it and don't just always use the quadratic formula again if the coefficient of x squared is 1 already and the middle term right here the coefficient here is even then use completing the square 